Back with another next game prime with Coach Dan Earl. Coach, Michigan State in town tomorrow, 10-4 and four Michigan State team. Let's start off with probably their MVP, Tom Izzo, who would call the MVP, uh, Draymond Green. Talk about what he brings to the table. Yeah, Draymond Green's a tremendous basketball player. Um, and with that, I mean, he, he does a little bit of everything. He rebounds the ball. He's their leading rebounder. He's a tremendous passer for being a bigger guy. He's a uh, small forward, power forward, at like 6'7", 230. Um, he steals the ball. He plays great help side defense. He's their team leader, really. Um, and again, just a tremendous basketball player. Uh, he's got great size, but you'll see him out there at times handling the ball like a point guard as well. So he'll be a challenge for us, and he's a very good basketball player. Kalen Lucas, obviously coming off the Achilles injury, but back coverage in 14 in a game. Talk about him. Yeah, Kalen's always been tough. It seems like he's been in the league forever. Um, you know, and he and Taylor Battle have had some great battles um, over the years. Um, they're very similar players. Kalen's uh, about the same height, weight, uh, very fast point guard, likes to push it in transition. Um, he'll switch sides of the court. He can drive the ball to the hole. He can also shoot three pointers, and he's got a very good mid range game, which uh, you, know, you combine all those things and you have a very good player. Uh, again, being able to drive it and shoot the ball from the outside. So uh, we got to do a good job stopping him. Another veteran, Darrell Summers, leading the team in scoring with 15 a game. Describe him. Yeah, Darrell's a, a great player, number 15 for them. He's like a small forward at about 6'5. Um, he makes shots, uh, that's what he does best. Um, he's a, a three-point shooter. You can take it one dribble pull up, that kind of thing. Also extremely athletic. So, uh, you know, we hope we're going to guard it correctly, but they'll run some uh, lob plays for him or we'll try to put him on the floor once or twice and, uh, and get a few dunks. So uh, hopefully we'll do a good job on, uh, on Summers as well. Always a great rebounding team. They're plus four this year for the season against their opponents. Describe uh, the importance of rebounding well tomorrow night. Yeah, the rebounding is going to be a huge key. You know, if you look at coaches, those teams over the years, uh, obviously they've gone to the Final Four the past two years. Um, they pride themselves on, on toughness and rebounding is where it starts. Um, and they've, uh, that, actually that margin has been larger in previous years. So I know Coach Izzo is on top of them to rebound even harder. So that will certainly be a huge key for us uh, in the game. If we can out-rebound them, um, that will certainly go in our favor. Also holding their Big Ten opponents to just 37% shooting, so talk about the challenges that they present defensively. Yeah, we'd love to make shots and, and shoot a better percentage than that, you know. But, um, you know, so you go with, again, Coach Izzo's philosophy is big on rebounding. He's also big on playing defense, you know, which a lot of teams are. Um, but they do a tremendous guy, job defending guys. Um, they got some perimeter players that, uh, that can defend the ball pretty good, containing the ball. And they have a lot of posts that are big and physical and, and defend the pain inside, you know. So you combine those two and, uh, you know, they're, they're nationally ranked for a reason. So, um, you know, we'll do, hopefully do a good job of moving the ball around and getting it inside some and, and reversing it on the perimeter and running our uh, plays and our sets and everything. And, and hopefully we can make it a good night for the Nittany Lions. Since the, the battle against Purdue, what's been the emphasis of practice? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, we just mentioned two of the things, but rebounding, playing t with some toughness, um, you know, and, and every team, you know, every coach is preaching that to their guys, but we really got to play um, tough and strong. You know, you're now in the Big Ten season, the heart of the Big Ten season, and uh, playing against teams that are nationally ranked like a Purdue or a Michigan State or an Illinois, which is coming up, um, it's a tough, tough league to play in. So we got to compete and play with toughness, and, uh, and but also be confident. You know, we have some good players, and uh, they got to play with confidence and execute our stuff, set good screens, and we'll get good shots, and, uh, and hopefully we'll come out with the W. One key to the game. We've talked about rebounding a bunch, but uh, you know the two the, the two keys: transition defense. Uh, Michigan State's great at flying the ball up the floor and trying to get easy stuff quickly. So transition defense will be huge, and then rebounding will be the second. So that's not one. I apologize. But, uh, they'll be keys. All right, coach. Thanks for your time. Best of luck tomorrow against the Spartans. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.